What up my champions in training, it's Remus here and welcome back to another episode in the Art of the Champion. The champion we're going to look at today is Kid Chocolate, the Cuban Bonbon. The world champion who we're going to use as the example of being independent in boxing and believing that you are enough to learn and motivate yourself by yourself. Kid Chocolate was a junior lightweight and featherweight champion and um, you know, came from Cuba and when he was 15 years old he was discovered by a guy named Louis Gutierrez and you know after discovering that the little kid Kid Chocolate wanted to be a fighter what they did is decided to go to the local movies you know the cinema and watch boxing and he would watch you know Joe Gans and study how he would throw his left and he would you know watch over and over Benny Leonard and watch how he would throw his right and he would watch all of these boxers and practice the moves and techniques that they were doing to the point where he was known as the pitcher boxer pitcher perfect really perfect synchronized moves in line with the guys and the greats that he was watching it tells us that we're able to do the same thing it's not just about watching you know the great fighters it's not just about watching and saying oh this looks nice or this feels nice as I watch it but it's also about actually doing the other side of it which is copying doing so before innovation comes imitation you watch you watch and you study why it works you study the foot you study the the, the, the foot placement you study the, the punch placement and you keep watching and you keep you get up you actually get up while you're watching the videos you practice you practice you practice while you're watching you execute the techniques you keep doing it until you have it perfect you keep doing it you keep doing it you keep doing it and if you can't get it right then try something else and you keep doing it and you keep doing it until something something has to give and eventually you're gonna get when you're in the gym who is the you know who's the star guy there who's the best boxer in your gym or when you go to visit other gyms for example when you watch Floyd Mayweather training in you know his you know the Mayweather gym what you might see is there's always people crowding around him there's always fighters crowded, crowded around him and just watching. There's fighters there that want to learn, but all they're doing is watching. How can you really internalize what's been done if you don't actually copy it? If you don't actually copy it, how can you learn to do it? Maybe you've learned how to watch it. So while you're watching someone like a coach or maybe there's a better, like there's a professional that's come to your gym or maybe you're gonna go visit a world champion or something, while you're watching them do their thing, they shoot that jab, you do it with them. You do it with them. You go bam, bam, watch him, bam, bam. Oh, how did he do that? How did, do I have to move this? Do I have to move that? And that's what it's about. The truth is other guys aren't gonna do that. The other guys aren't gonna do that. They're just gonna watch. They're gonna think that's enough. But since you are a champion in training, since you're someone who wants to be a magnificent elite champion, you can't do that. You have to go the extra mile. And that's what I say is asking your, yourself the question, are they doing it? If, if the other guys aren't doing it, then you have to be the one to do it. So I hope this video helped you in some way. If it did, show some support, like, comment, and tell me what you think or what other ideas I could do. And I hope to see you in the next video. So Remus is out. Those months that you've been preparing are coming down now. And you have to zone in, you have to focus because the fight is upon us and I'm looking forward to it.